Okay, in this video, what we want to do is deploy our REST brewery. So previously, and of course, I uh, showed you how to take this Spring Boot application and build a Docker image of that. So now what we want to do is we want to take this, and this is a published up to Docker Hub, so you'll be able to access this pretty easily uh, if you don't want to go through the time to generate your own uh, image. So you can go ahead and utilize this and follow directly along with what I'm doing in the course here. So this is a simple REST application. I will leave in the course resources uh, up here, SFG Beer Works Brewery API. So we have a basic CRUD application. That's the Spring Boot application that we are going to deploy to uh, Kubernetes. So this is a nice little application for us to work with. So I'm going to toggle over to the command line now, and we'll take a closer look at this. So I'm in the command line, and what we can do is we can do kubectl get all, and we can see that we've got our cluster is up. Nothing is running right now, so that, that's exactly where we want to be. I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And what we can do is we can also use kube control to actually create the deployment YAML. So there's quite a bit to it. And we are going to accept some uh, defaults and have the tool generate the YAML file for us. So I'm going to say kube control. And when I do create a deployment, we are going to call this KBE REST. That is the name of the application we are deploying. And then image, gonna be spring, spring framework guru slash. So that's the name of my GitHub repository. And this is gonna be KBE rest brewery like so. So that's the name of the image up inside of Docker Hub. Now we're gonna say, do a command called dry run. And it used to just be this. There's a recent change where you have to uh, say client. And what this does is it tells it to run locally. We're only going to run the command. We're not actually doing the deployment because we want to generate the actual YAML for it. And we're going to do a redirect to a file. And let's call this deployment YAML like so. And we hit enter. Runs pretty quick. And we can see that I do have a deployment YAML file that has been generated. So if I come in and uh, view that, I'm using you know, Vim. Now we can see this is a YAML that was generated by Cube Control uh, quite a bit here, but we're saying that we want one replica. So we'll have one, one of these running. And then down here, the containers, we can see that that is the image that we specified. So uh, we did not specify a tag, so by default, it's going to grab this latest tag from the, the repository. So pretty simple. At this time, we're not going to dive too deep into the actual options inside the YAML. This is kind of the default that has been generated, but this is the YAML specification that tells Kubernetes how to or what to deploy. So I don't need to write. I'm just going to do a quit. Let me clear this. Now to actually get this to run, we need to do kubectl apply. So this is a, a generic command to apply. And I'm saying minus F. And I want to take that YAML file that we just generated. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. And we can see here that I get that was created. So now if I uh, let's clear and do And we can see that a pod has been created. So right at the top there, we see pod KBE rest. It's got a number and that the status is running. So nothing else has really changed. We have a deployment of KBE rest. We say 101 is ready, up to date, one available, uh, desired, current. So we only told it to create one. So we're only using one instance in our little single node cluster. So nothing too exciting going on here, except for that we do have this running. And if I do Docker PS, we can see here from Docker that that container is actually running now. So that is up and running, currently not exposed to anything, but it is up and running in a Kubernetes context. 